Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to get rid of headaches and migraines using reflexology. This will be a simple tutorial for pain relief. If you have a headache or a migraine that has lasted longer than usual, you might want to try reflexology. Now, if your headache or migraine is really bothering you, you definitely want to seek help from a professional, from a medical professional. But if you want, you can try reflexology first because it only takes a couple of minutes and it might give you the relief that you're looking for. So let's get right into the video. First and foremost, I, I should say this as well, I'm not a professional by any means. I just learned about reflexology using some online resources and it really helps me target specific areas of my body to help relieve the pain. So I just wanted to share it with you in this video. So this is just my honest opinion. It's not advice, it's just my opinion. Um, and like I said, I'm not a professional. So there are three specific areas that you want to target with reflexology to help your headache or your migraine, okay? So I'll show you where they are and then I'll show you what you can do to sort of massage them and uh, use the pressure points properly. So on your big toe, okay, and this is the same on both feet, okay, on your big toe, at the tip right over here of your big toe, this is the reflexology point that is for the brain. So if you have a headache or a migraine, this is one of the areas that you wanna target for the brain, okay? Um, if you take a look over here on the inside of your foot right over here, this little sort of line here, an imaginary line on the inside of each of your feet, this is actually targeting the reflexology point for the spine. So this is another point that you can run your finger along or you can even do a finger walk along. I'll, I'll show you those, those movements in a minute. And then the third spot that you wanna target is actually right here on your big toe um, at the pivot point right here of your big toe, right over here, this is the point that is for reflexology for your neck, okay? So that being said, those are the three areas. So with regards to what you should be doing, well, you can just generally massage them with your finger like this. Like I said, the brain reflexology point, okay? You also have the neck reflexology point right over here, okay? And then you have the spine reflexology point, which you can just sort of rub with your finger, that's totally fine. And just, you know, you can spend 30 seconds, a minute, a few minutes doing that. See if that helps, okay? Um, in addition to that, you can uh, apply a little bit of pressure. So not a ton of pressure, just a bit of pressure. I just like to apply a little bit of pressure, move my finger back and forth like that, okay? Same thing over here, a little bit of pressure like that. Then also a little bit of pressure right here, just like that. Just really massage the spots inwards like that, okay? And the last thing you can do is what I like to call sort of like a finger walk, which is like you're sort of like walking your fingers, if you can imagine, and that's just circulating the blood flow nicely um, in the area, just like that. Just a nice finger walk like that. Then over here as well, okay? You can use multiple fingers if you want. You know, it's sort of like you're playing the piano on your feet, if you can imagine that. And then over here as well, just like this, a nice little finger walk like this. And the last thing you can try is going to be um, just like a, a movement of your finger to circulate the blood once again. So I can just sort of swipe like this, okay? Just like that, okay? Then like this, you can all go in all directions, okay? Then like this, okay? And we're gonna go sideways as well just like that. Okay, and that's basically it. You can see if that works, give it a shot, massage those areas, use those pressure points for a few minutes and see if it helps. You never know, it just might work for you. And that's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.